actually really didn't want to be in a sorority to begin with. Like, I was really against being in a sorority. I didn't want to be a part of, like, a stereotype. Mm -hmm. And when I came to Boulder, I found that Greek life here was a lot more relaxed than other places in the country. And since I moved so far from home, no one that I knew was out here, and I didn't know anyone out here. And a lot of the girls that I was starting to surround myself with were going to rush. So I was like, oh, I'll just rush to meet girls, but I won't actually join a sorority. And then once I got further into the rush process, I found a house that was right for me, and I really enjoyed the girls, and the mix of personalities in it, I think, really surprised me. So I decided to join, and there's been ups and downs, but for the most part, I think it definitely enriched it, my college experience, because it made a huge school like CU a lot smaller. Okay, cool. Um, do you think that's, like, the same? Like, do you think, like, you have the same motivations for staying in your sorority now? as you did when you uh, first came? Um, I think when I first came, I wanted to join just to meet friends, but I think now I want to stay in it because I feel like the people I have met are like my inner circle, and so I want to stay with them a little bit, and also um, the perks of joining sorority is like I have a meal plan next year, and I also have housing guaranteed next year. Mm -hmm. So those were two motivations that I had pro like after entering a sorority than I yeah. did prior to going into yeah. it. So, my motivations have changed a little bit, but for the most part, it's definitely still just somewhere to call home being so far away. Right, right, yeah. What are, like, the biggest obligations associated with being in a sorority? The biggest obligations, well, one thing that everyone has to show up to no matter what is called chapter, and there are meetings on Monday nights, and it kind of just keeps you updated with what's going on in the sorority. So that's mandatory. And also things like rush, but obligations are more personal obligations. Um, in sorority life here, you can be involved as much as you want or as little as you want. But obligations would just be like keeping your like a clean profile and keeping your grades up. Like we have a grade standard and everything like that. So um, just kind of being the best version of yourself would be the obligations. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, what do you, what would you say is the most worthwhile part of being a sister? Definitely the community of people, like the girls in my house, because. It's one of those things where I don't have any family out here, and I'm really close with my roommate and her family, but if I wasn't close with them, if something happened to me or my family, I would have hundreds of girls to turn to that would take me in no matter what and try and do anything for me. And that's just really comforting because if something goes wrong or if I need anywhere to go no matter what, like I have them to go to. Right, right. Uh, like how much of your week would you say you spend being a part of a sorority? Like. Um, it depends. So every Monday I spend an hour there and I can eat there basically whenever I want. Um, like I said earlier, it kind of depends like how much you want to be involved in it or not. So I'm kind of on the cusp of being like medially involved and then not so involved. So I mean, I really like it, but we have fun things like date dashes and things that I like to go to. We also have community service. So um, it kind of just depends on how my school life is going because they stress that school is more important than the sorority. So, right. you know, if my school is like light, like, you know, my school load is light, then I'll be like more in like interactive in the sorority and vice right. versa. Uh, do you think like fraternities are on the same level as sororities at all? Or? <laughs> um, I think fraternities and sororities are really, really different. Mm -hmm. Not so much in a bad way, but I think sororities just have more values and, um, they're a little bit more sophisticated, I want to say, than yeah, fraternities yeah. are. Uh, fraternities, it's definitely a brotherhood, and they really value each other and friendships like sororities do. It's all about like friendships and kind of building those bonds and mm -hmm. almost networking a little bit too. Yeah. But I think sororities um, are just a little bit more sophisticated and have a general plan and yeah. You know, life in a sorority is really, really different than life in a fraternity. There's a lot more rules going through Panhel, which is all Greek, um, yeah, yeah. and it's all Greek women, so it's it's very, very different, but there are some similarities, yeah. Okay, so Panhel, can you explain that a little bit more? So Panhel is all over the country, and it means all Greek, like I said, and basically they're a national organization, and they kind of look over every sorority in the country, and they tell us rules, they tell us how Rush is going to work, and they check in, check in on everyone to make sure that, you know, girls aren't going crazy, and that we kind of hold our values, and we're behaving well and they just want to make sure things are running smoothly so that way nothing gets out of hand and right. the whole point is to make sure that image is good. Right. You know, they never want us to get out of control or anything like that. Yeah, that's good to have.